Um, I just want to read this short passage out of Scripture and talk about it. It's coming out of uh, Philippians chapter 4, and it's uh, in verses 8 through 9. What have you learned and received and heard and seen in me, uh, in me practice these things, and that God of peace will be with you always? So I'm going to read through it again. Just to get, um, just, because I know everyone struggles with focus and remembering and everything, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to go through it again. Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 through 9. What have you learned and received and heard and seen in me practice these things, and that God of peace will be with you? Um... They're not really examples, but I'm using as, um, I use metaphors, metaphorically speaking. Metaphors, um, I want to do it like I'm an animal or I'm a shark, but not in the human kingdom, but in the animal kingdom. Giving up was never in the DNA of an animal. It was never put into the DNA of a shark never put into the DNA of a lion, of a tiger, of a bird. Nothing in the animal kingdom was the phrase give up or giving up ever written in an animal's DNA. Because if you look at it, it says, well, it could be okay. Well, giving up to an animal would be them getting killed, kill or be killed. It's not in an animal's DNA. We as humans at times think giving up is uh, inscribed in our DNA. And we don't say it, but we put on attitudes and airs and we do it in our actions that giving up was, was put on our DNA, but it never was. We just like to always take the easy route out. We don't, we, we think failure, like, for example, a shark uh, has not, is not, it's not failure because uh, they're always swimming, swimming forward. They don't have a mindset. It's also about your mindset that um, the shark's always swimming forward. He never swims backward. He's always swimming forward. Have the animals added, have an animal or a shark's attitude. You're always swimming for, so it doesn't matter what, who comes against you. If you lose food for that day or not, or that hour, that you're always swimming for, no matter what. And you don't even blink or bear an eye at what comes against you. Because God is always with you, and you're always swimming for, so you don't even bat or bear an eye, bat or bear an eye at all. You always find a way to get food and survive. And always have that right mindset and attitude and you just keep swimming forward. And you take it and you knock the dust right off your shoulders. And you just keep swimming forward. Have a shark's mentality. Have a shark's mindset. The same with other animals. Everywhere in the animal kingdom you'll see this. Same with lions who hunt gazelles. Uh, maybe a spider who's hunting his prey. And he's underground, like if you've ever seen those spiders that live underground in those beds and they have those openings, so when the prey gets up close, they jump up and they snag it and pull it back down. Because their uh, their domes look like the ground's blended in perfectly with the ground, but it's a circle, so when it gets close enough, they pop up and grab it and take it back down. You have to be and have that right mindset when the time is right. And also, when the time is right to get your food, and also the attitude and the mindset that you'll have with Christ. God wants to give you the right attitude, the right mindset. Um, we don't never have the right attitude or mindset as human beings. We think so negative all the time because we let everything around us impact our minds. Just how the enemy likes to do. We have to block that off. Block it off. And believe in Christ and act like we've been act. And have the right attitude and mindset that we know God is so much bigger, so much more bigger than everything around us. 
And we can do all things through, through Christ that strengthen us and give us power and strength and might. Amen. You have to believe in it. We have to have an animal kingdom's mindset and attitude. We have to have a, a lion's attitude, a spider's attitude, a shark's attitude, a bird's attitude. Not only for getting our prey and getting those things we need with God, but also anything that comes again to anything that is trying to come against us or coming against us, we don't even bat an eye at it. We don't even bat an eye at it. That's how focused we are on God and how focused we're supposed to be on God, just like in the animal kingdom. Because failure, I mean not failure, but um, giving up was never inscribed on an animal's DNA. So why do you act like uh, giving up is inscribed on your DNA when God never put that in your DNA because you are a warrior, fire, fighter. You're a warrior, you're a fighter, and you're an overcomer, you're, and you're an achiever. You can do all things through Christ, which, which give you strength. You can do all things through Christ. You have to believe in that. Take what I wrote out of Philippians and apply an animal kingdom's mindset to your life, to, to your attitude, and to your mindset. A shark's attitude, a lion's attitude, a spider's attitude, whatever it is, just something in the animal kingdom to, to know that if you're an animal, if you have that in your built into your mind, it's like giving up is not even a word that you've ever heard of in your life. You've never heard of the word. Someone mentions like, I've never heard of that. I don't even believe in that. I don't, I've never, it's not only I've never heard of it, even if someone was to tell me it, I would never believe in it because it's not real. Giving up isn't, I mean, failure might be real. Yeah, we may fail, but giving up is never put on our DNA. Just how it is in the animal kingdom. It was never, God never put giving up on an animal's DNA. They just automatically do the things they're supposed to do. Hunt, get their prey, and stop at nothing to get it. So why do we continue into, into thinking failure has been drawn on our DNA? Failure was never drawn on our DNA. Uh, I mean, not failure, but uh, giving up was never giving up was never drawn on our DNA. Failure and giving up are two different things. Failure, yeah, we try something. Uh, once we fail at it, we keep trying, but eventually we finally overcome and do it. But failure is just basically it's a mindset and, and having the wrong intention to say, well, I'll, I'll fail at it anyway, so I just can't do it, so I'm just not even going to try it. No, 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 child of God. You have the wrong mindset about this. You have to take on a shark's mindset, a shark's attitude of uh, mindset, a mindset in the animal kingdom, that kind of mindset, know that that it was never that giving up was never put on your DNA. But you automatically keep doing no matter what it takes, and you eventually do overcome. Put it in your mind that you've already you're already doing it, and you already overcome it. Keep that in your mind, and you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. Keep that in your mind, and you will do it. And you're already overcoming it, and you can go to your next obstacle. You may fail a couple of times, but then you keep going. You keep swimming forward. You don't swim backwards, but you keep swimming forward. With Jesus, all things are possible. With God, anything is possible. So take that out of the scripture and use those metaphors. For example, what I said, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 through 9. What have you learned and received and heard and seen in my practice and practice these things? And the God of peace will be with you always. Always. It will be with you. Know it, but believe in it. God bless everyone who watches this. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you. God bless everyone. In Jesus' name, amen.